Hello, it is time to reveal the macro winner. Now we've had some fantastic entries. I mean, hundreds, literally hundreds of entries. And just to for anyone who's watching this for the first time and don't know what's been going on, we've been running a macro competition over at the School of Photography for our members. And it's all been based on the brilliant work that people have been doing from the Oliver Wright macro course. Oliver is with us this evening and he's gonna I'm gonna he's gonna join us in a minute. We've got two prizes up for grabs. One is the people's vote, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, and one is the vote that Oliver himself has uh, chosen. Okay. Prizes. Both people get a book. One of these bad boys. I'm going to sign it for you. You never know. It might be worth some money one day, right? And you're going to get a year's membership to TSOP as well. That's the winner. And the winner of Oliver's vote, you know, that that winner also gets one of these bad boys. Let's see if I can get close up for you for that. This has been provided by Nissi UK. Thank you very much for providing us this as one of the prizes. It's a macro row and it's going to do any macro photographer a real favor so that's the prize that's the main prize all right so well done for all of you that entered we're going to look at there was 10 finalists so we had hundreds of entries 10 finalists let's go and look at them and discuss them and let's bring in oliver so he can help me here we go hello oliver how are you how are you? <laughs> thanks for joining us no worries sat in a caravan in northern sweden <laughs> yeah as you do <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as you do um but thanks for joining us and um we are gonna do some well we're gonna do some discussing of macro photography right so the first one we're gonna put across is the people's vote so i'm gonna go over to the screen right now here da -da 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 -da. That's the people vote winner. That is Maureen Anderson. And well done, Maureen. So we have a Facebook gallery and then loads of people. I mean, there was literally, I think the reach on that gallery, Oliver, was like tens of thousands, tens and tens of thousands of people looking at all of these pictures. And um, Maureen got the, the most votes. Uh, what do you think? It's a, it's a really interesting image. Uh, it not something I would have ever have thought of taking. Um, it, but it, it, it's brilliant. It it sort of looks. I mean, I know it's it's a mushroom, and there's a hole in that mushroom, and then you've got that little character there. It it almost looks like he's like working in a cave, like a sort of fairy tale cave. Yeah, um, yeah. No, it's 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 it's, really, it's really cool. Like I can understand why a lot of people were enamoured by it straight away. Yeah, it got um, it got a considerable amount more likes actually than than the second most liked as a matter of fact and i think it's the it's the funness of it as isn't it you know what i mean um <clears throat> and if anyone wants to go over and see all the pictures and all the comments and all the likes just go to our facebook page you know and you'll find there's a gallery there just go into photos go you'll see all these pictures but um yeah fabulous a fabulous entry by maureen and uh it brought a lot of joy to people that one oliver i think yeah good <clears throat> so well done Maureen you get a book another another shameless plug there you get one of our books you get a year's membership which you can use for yourself or you can give it to someone else it's entirely up to you we're going to be in contact with you soon right now we are going to go over and discuss all the other finalists okay so just give me a minute to get them up and here is the first one here by Chantel Noel and I'm going to let you kick off all of that. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful image of a green grasshopper. Is that? I mean, uh, can you zoom into it for me, Mark? Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I mean, it looks super sharp. Um, I really is... like the sort of natural habitat that it's sat in as well. Um, mm. You know, I, 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 I really like... If you zoom, if you pan back out again, mm -hmm. it, even though there's sort of you've got those lots of different grasses and I don't know, some people might sort of find that distracting in a way, but I really yeah. like it because it's sort of, 
it, it, even though there's a lot of it, it sort of it adds to the sort of consistency yeah. of the image, if you know what I mean. It's all it's it some texture, doesn't it, in the background? It's like Absolutely. a textured background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the the, the yeah. grasshopper itself is sharp and in, in exactly yeah. the right places. It's it's really nice, is that? And and yeah. I mean, it, you've just got that green going all the way through the image. Um, yeah, it's right. It's, it's got a lovely color tone to it. It is pin sharp. So when people are watching this um, stream. Uh, it, I think it's streaming at 1080, but but I'm looking at it at a, on a 4K screen, and I can tell you all now <laughs> that that is as sharp as you're going to get a macro picture. I can tell you that much. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I've got a bit of a cold. Yeah, but go on. Yeah, I mean, and I like the central composition as well as sort of like there's a nice amount of space sort of going all the way around it. Um, I mean, sometimes, I, I don't know whether it would have worked on this image or not, but generally if i have an insect or a bird or whatever point in one way i will mm. sometimes leave more space in front of it almost yeah. sort of like imagine it sort of hopping off the page uh, yeah. but i don't know whether that would have worked or not worked with this image it's it's, it's difficult to say uh, yeah. yeah yeah just a really nice strong macro image yeah fantastic picture and um you know macro pictures like this as you know, Oliver, and I know, because I've sat with you while you're doing it, they're not easy to get. <laughs> not easy, so oh, well done. Jim. Especially with grasshoppers, because you yeah. know, they like to jump. <laughs> they like to jump, yeah. So well done, yeah, well done, Chantel. That is a fantastic entry. Let's go on to the next one and discuss that. And this is this one here. This is from Charles Clark. And, well, I'll let you describe it, Oliver. Yeah, uh, well, it looks like some species of ant, and I think it is carrying another, it's definitely carrying another insect. I can't quite tell what that is. And no. um, I mean, and ants do this, they'll, you know, they are scavengers, so they'll pick up other insects and take them sort of back to the nest. Um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's quite a tricky thing, again, to photograph for ants because they're constantly moving. Um mm. So yeah, yeah, sort of good, good, good work on sort of capturing, capturing an ant, and you can see. I mean, ants aren't really something that I tend to focus that very often because they're very, very rarely still when you're out in the field. But yeah. it looks, like, you know, he, he, he's got the bit sharp around the eyes, which is yeah, you know, it's sharp. Know. Yeah, it's sharp in the right place. I, I, I like it. I like this in this environment, it, like a grassy environment. You know, it, it looks quite nice um yeah like it's not zoomed in on the end it's sort of shows the environment at the same time yeah quite... yeah i mean i guess it, you know that's that's probably going to be on route back to its nest i mean it's, it's maybe some type of mossy log or something a mossy stone um but yeah. yeah yeah it's a good bit of action captured for sure yeah and, well, and it yeah. actually does so the ants go in I'm not sure which way yeah, I'm on a webcam artist so my hands are going to go in the wrong direction. But <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going in the wrong direction here as well. Yeah, to me, it's looking at it, it's going in that direction. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. It, the ant has got more space to walk into there in terms of that. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's well composed, yes. Um, yep, yeah, good shot, Charles. Again, another very hard one to capture, and uh, you should be very pleased with yourself. Well done for being one of the finalists. Let's go to the next picture. That's this one here by David Camplin. Uh, I don't know the species here, Oliver, so you're going to have to um, show your expertise because oh, well, uh, they're, they're not a species that I get near me. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Dragonflies, should we say? Dragonflies, yeah. 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 Definitely. Right. yeah. yeah. Um, and we can't figure out whether one's going to kill the other one or do the absolute opposite of that. <laughs> yeah. I, I suspect they're, um, they're just about to attempt mating. Um, yeah. But again, you know, a, a great bit of action captured. Um, yeah. Not, yeah. Not, not easy to do. I mean, sort of, you know, you've got one sort of in flight, one on the water. Um, yeah. yeah, really interesting image. And it's, again, it looks really nice and sharp around the it eyes. Is. It's the important yeah. bit. And must have been very challenging to get sort of, uh, you that know, you're close. in the draws. You know, try to get both bits, the right, relevant bits of the dragonflies in focus at the same time. Yeah, that's what I mean, and because it, it's this, um, this wouldn't be a stacked picture at all, would it? This would because um, they're wouldn't moving. Oh no, because it's, it's all moving. But um, and it's also also got the reflections in the water as well. It's all yeah. You, know, you can tell it's an action shot. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, an action macro shot. Not easy to get again. Well, I think that mac. I think macros. 
a challenging subject. Every single picture of this, you, you're never going to sit here and go, that was an easy one. Oh, yeah. you know. Uh, but no, well done, David. Another very challenging picture that you uh, successfully captured there. Let's go for the next one. From Glynis Cameron here. And go on over to you, Oliver. Yeah, yeah, I think it's some type of assassin bug, this one. Um, mm. I, I, I really like this. It sort of falls into my sort of style of macro photography, certainly one of my styles of macro photography. It's, yeah. it's got some really graphic lines to it. Um, yeah. In the sense, you know, you've got the sort of the eyes and then the, the, the legs coming out radially. Um, yeah. And yeah. I mean, it, uh, assassin bugs are a sort of predatory sort of, hard man of the bug world as well and it and it, it sort of looks at you know it's got that sort of menacing alien it, it does look menacing <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah if, you, if you was a little bug you wouldn't want to come up against this would you no 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 if you're a little bug and you came up against this you would be eaten yeah under those those eyes and they sort of jab that into other insects and yeah yeah look, yeah i think it's a it's a fabulous picture and it's the colours as well, we've got like these orangey reds against the greens. It's, that's it's really making it stand out a bit as well, isn't it? You yeah, know? yeah. The orange against the greens is 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 super nice. Yeah, yeah. And um yes, and so well done, Glynis. It this was close, this was close to the winner, but um, yeah. <clears throat> it wasn't, you know, but it was so well done, basically. Well done, Glynis. This is a fantastic picture. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, Heather Ford, Heather Ford Tipple here, and again another dragonfly. Oliver, over to you. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, a really nice dragonfly, and I, I think the relationship between the sort of the, the, the shape of a dragonfly, the eyes, eyes look super pin sharp. I can see all the sort of compounded facets on the eye, and mm. and that perch, um, sort of, it's yeah. perch, perch really adds to it as well. Um, yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing that one's probably a stacked image because there's, there's a lot in focus. Um, you can never yeah. sort of totally tell. Um, <coughs> yeah. Really, really nice. Yeah, they're in for, uh, for anyone who's interested. I can't remember, but the we have posted on our uh, Facebook groups, and if they have been stacked or anything like that, the, the uh, people that post they do give us a bit of information, and we share that on the on yeah. the post. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, if I was clever enough, I would have wrote it all down before this video, <laughs> wouldn't I? But you're gonna have to go over to the Facebook or the Instagram page actually, and you can read the post there. Um, but no, fantastic, fantastic, Heather. Uh, great picture. Let's go on to the next one, and this is from Jane Painter. Obviously, it's this one's a flower, yeah, sort of sex, a section of a flower, I guess. Re a really nice artistic, um. Yeah, slightly abstract take, um, yeah. Yeah. in the sense of I'm I'm assuming here we can only see part of the flower, but I think it, it yeah. does work really well in black and white as well. Yeah, yeah. So that, I think that's why this one was put into the finest because it was it was a different type of macro shot, like you say, it was a bit arty, and um, obviously of the flower and and yeah, it just I, it, I just quite liked it to be honest with you. So um, well done, Jane. There for being one of the finalists here and it just for everyone else you, you don't have to find dragonflies and that we've got flowers and all sorts of things that you can macro um let's go on to the next one uh, this is from george joe pollock here go on oliver I'll yeah another another grasshopper um but a, a very different image to that that previous one because mm. it's yeah it, it's looking at the grasshopper head on um, yeah. And I like how that you've got the eyes on either side of that um, grass stem as well. So it yeah. makes it look a little bit more mis sort of a bit mysterious. You know, so what, what exactly is going on? Um, yeah. 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 It's it a great. It, makes it look a bit comical as well. <laughs> yeah, it's it, yeah. It's a lovely composition, to be honest with you, like straight down the middle, like uh, that line just cuts the middle of the frame, doesn't it? You know, it yeah. forces you to look at the picture. You know, this is the, this is one of them, scroll stoppers i think that when you get a composition like this it does stop you to look at it you know um yep so well done joe that is a fabulous entry well done for being one of our finalists let's go <coughs> to the next one and that's this one here by mark bootland obviously a flower again over to you oliver 
It's funny, one of my best friends is called Mark Bootland, but it's definitely not going to be him because he has no interest in photography. But <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> there you go. I, I, yeah, I, I really love this one. Um, I think this was one of the strongest images for sure. Um, yeah. what, what I like about it again, it's just it's a bit like that assassin bug, that sort mm. of that symmetrical outlook of it. And I mean, it's super, it looks super sharp on those water drops. Yeah, it um, is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it almost reminds me of a sort of an architectural type photograph as well. Um, yeah. Again, you know, because you just got that sort of symmetry and that radial output from the flower. It's just a really good, strong graphic composition. Yeah, it is. It's a lovely, it's a lovely picture. Like aesthetic is the word, you know, what I mean? it's like pleasing to the eye, isn't it? You know, um, yeah. a great use of macro. And um, yeah, like Oliver just said there, Mark. It was a close one. It was definitely a close one. Um, so firstly, thank you to everyone for entering. And let's face it, <coughs> being in the final is good. And being able to take this quality of image is fabulous. And for anyone else watching, there's a little plug here. Oliver's course over on the School of Photography, Oliver teaches you how to do all of this, all of the stacking, composition the editing and the finding of the insects is, is, is absolutely brilliant it was it was it was a joy to film on it but to be honest with you it was like it's, it's like watching i've said this a few times it's like watching oliver work it's like watching dr doolittle you know like he just talks to the end <laughs> you can believe that the animals just go oh hello oliver i'll, I'll just stay still for you shall i what you <laughs> it's like absolutely it's absolutely amazing to watch and uh, i would recommend you go and check that course out um Right, <coughs> we are over to the winner now, Oliver. So we've looked at these, obviously, previously, and we've chosen this one as the winner. Da, 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 da. Hang on. Da, da, da. Here it is, this one here. This is from Ellen Ur. So, go on, Oliver. Let's go. I I mean, it's a, it's a super, super image, is this one. I mean, and, and it's got to be said, Mark, I mean, it was not easy to select. I mean, we had to run through those final yeah. images quite a few times. Yeah. Um, right, but yeah. Th th this one does stand out for me. I mean, uh, there's... Uh, I think it's a tiger crane fly, um, yeah. although I am a little bit confused because I thought they only fed on nectar, and this one has caught um, some type, maybe a soldier fly, something like that. But yeah. I, I think what jumps out at me on this image is i mean it, it's sharp at the right places again around the head structure on both sets of eyes on both the what's being predated and also the crane fly but if you if you sort of pan back out again yeah i think it's just it's just the overall sort of composition because you've yeah. got that really beautiful plant with the the sort of purple seed heads and yeah. then you've got the green of the plant against the green background um yeah. And then the tiger crane fly being sort of orange, you've just got this really sort of vibrant color palette throughout. Yeah. Um, on this one, I mean, I'm guessing it's probably a stacked image because the the green yeah. background is just a totally blurred green background. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the fact that yeah, even if it hadn't predated that other fly, it would be a very sort of pleasing composition and very nice fly, uh, very, very nice overall image. But the yeah. fact that it has predated that fly as well just adds that extra bit of interest. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a fantastic find, isn't it? Like if you, I mean, I'm sure Oliver, if you walked around and you found this, you know, this this uh, crane fly on on this particular purple plant, you'd just be rubbing your hands together, going, "What? Well, this is going to be good," you know. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, yeah. If, I'd have, if, I'd have, if, if I'd have seen this out in the wild myself, I would have definitely taken the image. And I, yeah. and I don't think I would have taken it in any type of a different way either. Um, yeah. It's, yeah. It really is nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful image. It's a beautiful image and it's uh, well deserved. And like the competition there, like you say, Oliver, it was, this was very hard um, to judge. So well done to all of you, um, particularly to Helen here, who has won. The TSOP vote, and you get. Let's come back to here. Oh, hang on! Don't forget, you get yourself one of them bad boys, as well as one of our books. Da -da -da! One of our books and a year's membership. It's all coming your way, Helen. We will be in touch soon. Um, that all that leaves me to say, Oliver, is thank you very much 
for joining us. It's no been a uh, pleasure no. again. Yeah, yeah, no, absolute pleasure again. And um, anyone else out there who wants to learn how to take these pictures, I know the winter is coming, but macro is a, uh, what would you call it, a yearly thing. Uh, Oliver's yeah, going to be yeah, getting yeah. Soon. Go on, back, Oliver. Back in the UK, I mean, you know, you've got sort of autumn, autumnal leaves covered in dew, spider's web still about, um, yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, I'm mm. back to the UK in a week and I will be going sort of all autumn as soon as I get back. Mm. Um, yeah, at this time of year, if I'm in the UK, I, I'll be walking around woodlands and I, I'll have some wide angle lenses with me for sort of woodland, misty morning type scenes, autumnal. Um, but I will definitely have my macro lenses with me as well because, um, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. shrooms are very interesting things to photograph. Yeah, they are. Um, well, look. Thanks for joining us, Oliver. Go and check Oliver's course out over at the School of Photography, everybody else. Well done to the winners. It's been an absolute pleasure to run this competition and see all of our members work. You know, you do fantastic stuff and we love you. All right. So that's goodbye from me. Cheers. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye from Oliver. See you later, guys. Yeah. Thanks. Bye now.